Alright, what I'm going to try to do is to put an auxiliary battery into my engine bay and I want to put it right here. I know everybody's element looks, engine bay looks slightly different, but this is what mine looks like. Here's my uh, normal battery. I'd like, if I could, if I could wedge it in back there or something, I, I wouldn't mind doing that either. I'm not using a big battery. I've seen somebody modify it and put it there. I'm not a real fan of that either, but over here, there seems to be a decent amount of room for me to put in my battery, which is actually slightly even smaller than um, that battery, my auxiliary battery is. So I'm going to see what I can do. Alright, this is my auxiliary battery I wanted to use. This is just a motorcycle battery. And this is a full-size battery plate. Well, what I found out, luckily, is that sideways, this fits kind of perfectly in there. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to trim it down. And I'm going to use these brackets here I got from Lowe's. And I'm going to use this to mount it to the car. It'll be mounted on this side, so this side is facing the outside. Um, I'm going to mount it to the frame of the car, and the battery will sit like that. And we'll walk over to the car, just so you can see the size. It looks like there's plenty of room to put the battery right there. So the only challenge is how am I going to mount it there to make it nice and stable. Alright, so I took a circular saw to this and I chopped it down to size. And the idea is that uh, this would go against the wall, this would, the wheel well um, wall. And this would sit like that and the battery will come in and sit like that, mounted up. So that's the idea. If you look on the back side, it'll just be mounted against the wheel wheel wall. And I'll show you where this will. And one mount here and another mount right there. And that should be plenty of space for me to get that battery in. And it should be very tight. Drill some holes here and here. And I should be able to access the bottom side fairly easily to get uh, get a nut in there. Okay, I've already marked out the holes uh, that I want to drill to fit this in. And for the bottom side, what I want to do is make sure it rests on the frame of the car just to give it a little bit of um, a little bit of extra support so you know, that it's not completely suspended. It's hanging a little bit from the frame. Well, I'll try this bit to see if this gives me any extra margin. This is one of those step bits, one at a time. It definitely went in a little bit easier. Running low on batteries, now I gotta switch the batteries. So what I did is I just went the, within the first step and you can see it's a little, a little bit smaller than this drill bit. But I'm not gonna go to the next level until I measure these out and make sure it's good. Well, it turns out to get the bolt size I want in there, I, I do need to get at least one step bigger. Wow, that bit's not working. I'm going to go back to that step one. Okay. Let's see if the bolt is going to fit. All right. That's the size. I just want to get a big bolt in there to make sure it will stay. Probably the holes are a little bit bigger than I actually want. I was trying to get in this this bolt, but it'll hold that one too. 
what size these are, I'm not sure. Alright, so I got these bolts laying around, these nuts and bolts and some washers laying around, so I was able to use what I had, you know, I don't, because I didn't go out and buy it, I don't know the exact size of it, so this looks like a one inch long, it's, it's, uh, it's US standard, so I don't know, maybe one half. Looks pretty stable. Okay, so that's the way it's going to sit in. I'm going to need to make a hole underneath here to hold that in. It's kind of hard for me to figure out where the hole goes, but I'll figure it out. All right, again, just making use of whatever nuts and bolts I have laying around. I got these. They're, they're of course, they they are longer than I would prefer them to be, but it'll be all right. This will hold the bottom plate in place so that it's not really holding a lot of any particular amount of weight. So uh, a smaller bolt is going to be fine in this scenario. It's just holding um, this plastic piece from sliding around. Give this a little test. Seems to sit pretty nicely. Okay. So what I need next is some kind of strap to hold this down. Something that will go up and over. So I'm thinking of maybe a, just a, a strap. The tightening thing. But we'll see what I have laying around. Okay, so it looks like I got lucky. This is the, the mount that it came with. And of course, you guys saw the original size. It's way too big, so I had to cut it down sideways. But this mount will actually fit perfectly on the width of the battery. And just right here, I'm going to have to trim out a little bit. If I saw planned a little bit ahead, I would have moved it over a little bit. But I'm not going to drill four more holes into the car. I, I think that's plenty so I'm going to try to trim this down and on the sides what uh, down there you can see this plate came with something for, to mount this to the floor of something which will be fine because I'm going to use that mount to stand it up and let's see if I could do this with one hand that in there Oops, well, that fell down but you can see what I'm trying to do I'll just use that to mount this thing and hold it secure so I just need to shave down some a little area right here to get it under around this sucker right there all right looks like luck is really going to save me with this this mount that I did so if you could look back here you could see I shaved off that side so that it'll, it'll fit it won't interfere with this tube right here everything seems to fit really nicely if you look down there everything looks good and I'll have a nice tight firm grip all right now it's all mounted and ready to go I had to put some risers because the threading ran out because you know this was really made exactly for this application so it was a little bit um, 
the thread ended up right here so I couldn't get it tight so I just put on a little plastic piece of riser to keep it nice and firm so that there it is it's pretty pretty stable you know uh, it's mounted in tight so now what I need to do is to do all the wiring and to hook up a um, gosh a a shutoff switch so that when the this battery is not connected to the main battery when the engine is off so I could run uh, all of my accessories inside the car off of this battery and not suck the main battery dry alright I have my battery uh, ground connected to the chassis I have this connector and I um, connected it to the chassis of the car right there so what I want to do is I have this battery isolator looking for a place to put it but uh, in the end I think I'm just going to there's a good spot right here I'm just gonna put a bolt in and let it sit right here kinda of like this and then this will isolate the battery so when I'm uh, not running the car uh, this battery is not connected to the main battery so I could uh, power some of the electronics I have in the back of uh, the element uh, using just this battery when when the when the engine is off and when the engine is on it this uh, this isolator switch will turn on and it'll allow this battery to be recharged so I won't really need a solar panel so this battery should be able to take care of everything I need just get, need to get a wire from here around here uh, to the switch to there and isolator will have um, this these pins for you to uh, get in an accessories type uh, signal from your car there's a fuse box right there so it shouldn't be too hard for me to find an accessory signal so when uh, the engine is turned on the, the, the line is live and that'll trigger the switch to recharge the battery alright so I got the isolator switch in installed here I just mounted it to a bolt here to the um, one of the brackets that I had for the battery you see the ground is connected to the car the other end of the switch is connected here you see the green cable come this way around got some ties to keep it firm come around and then I have it to the battery here so um, next up I need to connect these uh, switches back here on the back side and that will tell the switch when how to switch on and off and that switch is going to be triggered by the accessories so you come into the fuse box this fuse box almost everything inside this box uh, well uh, not almost everything all these fuses they're all they're always on they're active on all the time uh, these pins they're all active on so the only thing that I could find that's not always on is inside the relay itself these relay switches <laughs> are triggered by the accessory and this pin right here this one right here is is a pin that's triggered by um, turning the key so I'm going to tap a little bit a little wire right here a small wire right here and then pull it out and I'm going to use that signal to trigger that switch over there all right so I kind of wedged that line in between the, the terminals and it's not the most elegant job but uh, it'll get the job done the routing goes over here and I have some ties maybe put a few more ties in a little bit that runs back 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 around and to the switch right there ground side runs straight to this battery right there tested the pins and it's working so now the system is all set up so now I have an auxiliary battery set up the second battery that I could use for uh, my powering things, charging phones and stuff without uh, fear of 
of uh, sucking dry the main battery so I'm going to tap this line right here um, to the back of my car where all my, my power switches are. One last shot of how it looks with the cap on. You can see the line coming out. I put one more twisty tie right there. So it's nice and flush. Coming out and there's my spare battery. And uh, I know a lot of elements. They have something right there. I don't know what it is. If you do, if you know what that is, please uh, leave a comment in this video and let me know. But not every element has that space free. So I'm a little uh, bit surprised uh, and I'm a little bit concerned how come I don't have that <laughs> but anyways because I don't have that thing that's right there in a, in a lot of elements I could put a secondary battery